Hi, Laura Quirk here from Technique Peak. Today I'm going to show you how I utilize an active straight leg raise test to determine where um, the patient may be demonstrating some decreased mobility or decreased stability in their pelvic region. So we're going to ask the patient to lift their heel up off the table about five centimeters. You're going to lift up your left foot first. And as they're doing that, you're going to observe any pelvic rocking, which she does have on that right side. And you also will ask them if they have any pain when they're doing that lifting and if it feels any weak or heaviness on that leg as they're lifting up. And you do. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on the right side. And if you can see, she has both sides that she has a little pelvic rocking going on and she does have pain when she lifts up. So after that's determined that there is some instability, we're going to come around and we're going to determine where that instability may be coming from. So we're going to compress the ilium first, which would give her more stability through the deep transverse abdominal muscle. So we're gonna ask her to do the same thing. And you can see she still has a little bit of pelvic rocking on both sides, and you still have pain when you lift. Okay, so we know that there's a possibility that the instability isn't coming from the transverse abdominal muscle. So now we're gonna explore a little bit further to determine if it's possibly coming from her multifidi. So we're gonna come underneath and we're gonna use a gripping technique and we're going to grab hold of both PSISs under your hand, and you're gonna create some compression through the PSIS region. You're gonna have her lift up. Go ahead, lift up the left leg. As you can see, she's more stable. Now we're gonna do the right leg. And as you can see, there's no pelvic rocking when she does that, so there's a good chance that her instability may be coming from weakness in the multifidi. And there was there less pain when you did that? Yes. Okay. And then we also want to rule out the possibility of there may be some weakness in the anterior or posterior pelvic floor. So we're going to put some compression through her pubic symphysis region. And we're going to ask her to do the same thing. So she's going to lift up. As you can see, she still does some pelvic rocking. And then lift up again. She's still doing some pelvic rocking. So, so far, it's not coming from that anterior pelvic floor. So we're going to check the posterior pelvic floor. So we're going to ask her to bridge up. We're going to do the same gripping. Hold, and we're going to grab hold of the IPs on both sides, which is the ischial tuberosities. And we're going to give compression through those ischial tuberosities and actually have her do the same straight leg raise. So we do the left leg and the right leg. As you can see, there was less pelvic rocking when we did that. So it seems to be that she has actually some instability or poor motor control it may possibly in her multifidus as well as her posterior pelvic floor. Laura Quirk from Technique Peak.